What's up guys, Exotic back in the garden this week. We are using the phone instead of the D3400. Um, I've yet to take it back and get the 5600 for the autofocus with the video. So we're just gonna throw in some uh, high res shots, some layovers and uh, show you guys kind of the awesomeness that's in at least this side of the garden. Um, I'm quite pleased with how everything's looking. Nice and frosty, no complaints. The Bewitched is quite happy in DWC and I mean, I'm pretty glad this is the keeper cut. Although there's nothing wrong with that one back there by any means. So we've got our Ninja Fruit number four, which is my keeper. Um, I do have number six still. We're gonna run it again. Um, <clears throat> So we can see just a little bit of tip burn. So straight RO water right now. And uh, she'll be just fine. Ah, the lighting's not the best. It is purpled up though. It's looking fantastic for being the reveg and I didn't want to throw it away. So, we just need to give it some straight RO water for probably like two or three waterings and uh, maybe just a little CalMag, make sure the pH is, you know, good to go. And uh, it's been pretty happy. So, as we come down into more of the other Bewitched, I don't really show too much of this one. It's just kind of small, but it's small, but it's really frosty. It looks pretty nice. I mean, it's got some nice looking bud. We'll uh, try and squeeze around. Actually, we'll go pop in that door real quick. Okay, this one's a little darker, uh, taking a little more nitrogen than the other one, but still very frosty. looking really nice. I had no complaints other than it was just a little bit smaller than the other one and maybe not quite as frosty but I don't know we'll see what you guys think. I think the bud development's better on this one. Bigger buds, uh, just a bigger plant overall for being they were given the same amount of time, same light, same conditions, all of that so yeah that's uh, that's the side. Day 30 something probably. I've already noted it in the front of the video. All right, we are in the veg tent now, and uh, I will say everything's looking quite nice in here as well. Um, we're gonna touch on those clones just a little bit, and uh, maybe a small mistake that I made with those, because um, I didn't really think about it when I did it, so. Ninja Fruit's coming along really nice. Number four. There we go. And then we've got Dark Plasma number one and Alien Rift number four. So, being that these are my only cuts, we're just gonna refer to them as, you know, Dark Plasma and the Rift. Another Ninja Fruit number four. I've been topping these. And this one, let's pull this light up really quick. All right, this Ninja Fruit right here, I've topped the most so far. And I'm trying to be a lot better about topping these and, uh, whatnot. I want nice big bushy plants and uh, yeah that's what we're hoping for so I'm gonna be this is ninja fruit number six all these three are number four and that's bewitched still topping everything um, I have a little plan in mind we'll see how this goes um, if I have the money to manage it or not um, the mothers just cruising along back there. They've uh, been topped and cut down and whatnot. Okay, so it was mentioned to me by a friend too that uh, I took off pretty much all the leaf on some of these and uh, mainly just this one and you can see it's pretty much shriveling up and kind of dying. So we'll be revegging that particular plant. Um, but other than that, nope, maybe that one a little bit too. 
but I didn't. You need to leave a little bit more leaf on these uh, to reveg. Um, don't cut them quite as short like I did. So um, when I checked them two days ago, I didn't see anything was rooted. Uh, check them again when I'm done with the video and uh, see how that's going. But no rush. They. Uh, I did just what I did last time with cloner half strength blue planet. Um, and I mixed it for five gallons, or no, I mixed it for four gallons, and that takes a little over, I think, four and a half, so it's not even quite half strength, but seemed to work extremely well last time, and, well, we're hoping that it works just as well this time. So, let's step back and get a good view. It's looking pretty good in there. I'm, uh, I'm liking doing buckets a lot more. I think I'm going to look into the different lids that aren't one piece, um, where you can just set the separate net pot in there so I can pull them out and uh, put them in different systems potentially. So that is, uh, that is going to be the garden update for this week. We will touch on the testers on Wednesday. They are, there's two Ninja Brew that are pretty much ready to come down. They've started to show some amber trikes and uh, we'll take the uh, the camera while I've still got this one and uh, we'll snap some good pictures of those maybe we'll see if we can get some uh, amber trike pics and stuff like that and uh, we'll post that on the Ocean Grown Lounge and we'll see what we can post on Instagram with it other than that um, that's going to be the update this week guys nothing super special going on but you know we're just cruising along and I had to touch on the clone issue because yeah, well, that was my fault. So, shit happens. We'll see. We'll see how those root, if those two make it or not, and um, you know, you guys will get your full results uh, if that was a total failure or not. But soon we'll take some clones of the the rift and the dark plasma, and uh, we'll get those in DWC as well. So, I appreciate all you watching. We're at 480 subs right now. Almost, almost 500. Thank you guys so much. It's awesome. Smash the subscribe button if it's your first time here. Let's hit 500 by the end of the year. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys Wednesday. Hope you're going to smoke something good because I'm going to go smoke some Rift. Peace.